Last week when I started preparing the ceiling for painting, I noticed that the paint was very crumbly and that is a sign that there could be lead in the paint. This is obviously a very old building, so to take precautions I've bought these little tests. I'm going to check it out and then that will help me to determine how I need to proceed with treating the paint and how to remove it. I don't think it's good news. I think it's going purple. That definitely looks purple. Yeah. So we can see here there is a sign. This is when no lead is detected, and obviously this is the, the more the darker the purple, the more lead there is. So there's definitely lead. That means that you've spent a day in a dust of lead paint. Yeah, that and means all of us that we've probably all got a little bit of lead poisoning. That's nice. So I'm glad that I've done the test now. I know that we have got lead in the ceiling paint. I'm gonna test also the, the paint here, which I was going to sand, which needs, yeah. It's, it's not a good sign. It's pretty common in buildings that are old. And if it's crumbly, that's a sign that it probably does contain lead. So for the ceiling, I'm going to protect myself with a full face mask. I'm going to buy a disposable suit and I'm going to obviously keep all the windows open, make sure nobody else is in here whilst I'm doing it. And I'm going to wash it instead of trying to scrape it. Oh yeah, straight away. Okay, that's for sure. That was like two seconds. I think maybe I need to go to the doctors and do a test for lead poisoning. I'm just doing a little test to make sure that these are really working. This is new paint that I painted last year. And as you can see, it's not changing color. So all the new paint, all the rooms that we've repainted are absolutely fine. There's no lead in them. I can confirm little green paint does not contain lead. Just popping into Enfleur and I'm going to go and get my blood test to see if I have poisoned myself. Our carpenters Vincent and Benoit successfully installed all the wall mouldings. Now it's my turn to transform the master suite bathroom and finally hide all those derelict walls. My confidence level is skyrocketing as plasterboarding calls for my favorite skills, patience and precision. First progress today. Look at this new plasterboard in the toilet. Isn't that beautiful? Now you know why they call me the Michelangelo of plasterboard. Well, this here I would call the Jackson Pollock of plastering. You know what I mean? Il y a des traces partout. Hein? How many experts do you need to put a plasterboard on the ceiling? So we, we discuss it and then we'll do it. Je sens que nous allons transpirer. Tu es prêt, tu mets à 70 et à 10 du beurre. Oui, non, à 10 de là et à 70 de là. Bah oui, c'est ce que je veux. Ah non, mais fais-moi confiance, fais-moi confiance. Bon, je vais faire pipi vite fait et puis je visse. Ouais. Il est, il est où le trou d'ailleurs Non mais il est pas là, il faut qu'il soit là. Elle est pas dans le bon sens. <laughs> Dream team. <laughs> Vincent, tu peux nous aider? <laughs> on tourne, déjà on tourne la plaque parce qu'il y en a des. Non, c'est pas, les... il est pas bien. Il va être là. Non, il est là, il y en a un autre. J'ai fait deux. J'ai fait deux. Un, un de chaque côté au cas où. Mais si je tourne, il est trop, trop là, non? Là, ces deux-là, ils vont. Il nous a fait un placo cruère et c'est vrai que j'ai moins le vent. Tu peux l'enlever, tu peux l'enlever. Mets-le à champ là, mets-le à champ là. Comment c'est possible Pourquoi je me suis trompé deux fois C'est. Aïe de la cheveux Non mais dresse-le là, pose-le à deux bouts là. Oui. I made a hole in the wrong position, then I corrected myself and made it here. 
only to find out that it actually needs to be here. <laughs> it's, it's a lead poisoning. It's a consequence of lead poisoning. Pourquoi faire euh, deux trous si pour le même prix tu peux faire trois, tiens J'ai dit que Vincent nous a abandonné déjà. Il est... Pour que tu penses qu'on n'est pas professionnel C'est fou, il nous fait quand pas confiance. Attends, pose le Attends. là. Pose ouais. là. Voilà. Non, regarde. Non, regarde pas ce qui se passe. Voilà. Tu peux te dépêcher, Benoît, parce que c'est un peu lourd. C'est bien ça quand même, j'aime bien le placo. I'm gonna try to be extremely professional this time and make one hole instead of three. And with a bit of luck, it's the right one. Let's say this is against the wall, which is like this, like this. <laughs> called three-dimensional thinking. I also decided where the spots will be, Anna, by the way. I hope you agree. Are we having spots? Well, like nice ones, applique spots. And have you seen inside here? No, what Look have you done? It. Well, the plasterboard, the beauty. Look, isn't it? It's good looking, isn't it? Well, I already saw that. What no. What's happened? The, there wasn't plasterboard here before. It was this morning. Oh, oh, wait. oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I need to install a little hatch here. This is to access electricity and also to get to the pipes, to the ventilation pipes from the toilet. I don't have the item yet, the, the hatch itself, but I have the measurements 30 by 30. So that's exactly where I want it to be. You can see inside all the cable mess and here, the ventilation pipe will go in here and up into the attic. Whoa! Oh, precise this is so precise, it should be illegal. Tu as vu ça? La précision? Wow! fait une barre de seuil. C'est pas en bon état. C'est vrai. Il y a, en fait, on passe le doigt presque. Il y a un bon centimètre de jeu sur le parquet. m'a dit que tu voulais pas que je filme ça, qu'est-ce qui s'est passé Je sais pas, pourquoi il y a eu un problème <rire> Le cours de 20 cm. C'est réparé, ouais. heureusement il y a... Il y a toujours deux types de personnes, ceux qui 
provoque des problèmes et c'est qu'il est sûr, <rire> c'est qu'il est ressou. Et t'en connais, connais un rayon. <rire> This man as well asked me to blur his face, which I do because it's only fair. Je ne veux pas que les gens me reconnaissent, s'il oui. te plaît, tu peux me flouter, j'ai coupé le fil. I just saw you bringing these upstairs. Well, we had to bring them down again because it turned out they're the wrong ones. Benoit and Vincent told me that for the bathroom, you need the steam resistant ones everywhere, the green ones. Yeah. I thought you only need them around the shower and the bath. And I was pretty sure, so I laughed at them and went to the shop and bought them and they came back and we carried them upstairs. And they again said, it's not the right one. So I went online and found out that they were right. The thing is, th these cost 9 euros, the other one cost 27 euros each. So I was happy because I made a huge saving, you know, and it would go towards the boat, my boat, my future boat. But what happened is now that I have to go back. These probably, they don't take them back. So I'm an absolute idiot. I also wanted to blur me out. I don't want people to see this. Vous deux, aujourd'hui, c'était pas une bonne journée. Moi encore, ça va, j'ai juste coupé le courant. Ouais. I mean, j'ai pas coûté trop cher. At least I didn't cut the electricity. Je fais le calcul. Benoit almost killed himself. <laughs> okay, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. Let's start this day. I got all the plasterboard from the shop, the new one, the green one, the good one. They were really nice, they exchanged it. So I didn't waste anything, nothing but my time. Now having wasted all my time, I do make a promise. I want to finish this job today. It doesn't matter if I have to work through the whole night. This bathroom plasterboarding thing should be finished. I don't move from here until I'm finished. I will eat here, I will sleep here if I have to. I will still go outside to do that but I will be finished. I'm not completely finished because of this wall here. You see here, plasterboard is still missing. But I can't really do that tonight because there's so much plumbing going on behind this wall and I need to wait for the plumber to sort out all these pipes before it makes sense to cover it up with plasterboard. So I decided with Vincent to wait, but I'm excited, I'm happy. We finished a lot, but there's one thing to do before I can call this a day, cleaning up. If I clean this area here almost every evening, it's of course because it's nice to come back here the next morning to a clean building site. But it's also because as a world famous influence in the waste pipe sector, I want to be a role model for my fans, for you guys. I know you look up to me because of my skills, my expertise, my precision, my good taste, my good looks, and most importantly, my humility. Unfortunately, it's impossible for anybody out there to reach the level of expertise I have in almost every trade. But luckily, nowadays there's a way to shine online if and only if you use the right tools like Squarespace, an all-in-one platform to create an outstanding online presence, which also happens to be this week's ad. Squarespace is the perfect tool to rebuild your visually and functionally outdated homepage and replace it with a modern, efficient design. But it's also the right tool to finally create that homepage you always wanted to build but never started to work on because you didn't know where to start. 
With Squarespace, you are guided through the process, starting with choosing the right template for your page, uploading images and text, and adding all the modules you need to run your business. It now even comes with an integrated tool to help you making a logo. It's so much fun to play around with it, and it will give your brand a real identity. If you would like to see how easy it is to finally create your perfect web presence, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And if you're ready to launch, head over to squarespace.com slash how to renovate a shuttle for 10% off your first purchase of a web page or domain. Anna. Yes. Look at this. It's looking amazing. Shower finished, walls are finished. This wall is finished. But the only thing that's missing, Philip, is a niche. Because I thought we said we were gonna, you were going to put in a niche here. That's a lot of work, Anna. And I think niches are old-fashioned. Yeah, but I want a niche. I think it's going to look much nicer. Otherwise, where do you have to, like, bend down all the time, you know, to get your shower gel? Oh, I thought that was finished. I think niches are for a niche market only. Well, I'm a niche market, and I need a niche. Where do you want your niche? I don't know. Maybe here? No. No, you higher? Can't have it here. You can't have it here. You can't have it on the other side where the door was. Oh, here. Yeah. Here, then. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a lot of work. Is it? What do, I get, what, what do I get in exchange for a niche? Do I have to give you something? Can't you just do it? Niche. Niche. My family wanted to find a niche. I'm just asking Benoit to help me to validate. Regarde, no. ça c'était mon dessin pour la niche. Vous en pensez quoi? Il y a du savon et uh, un deuxième savon en cas où. Je voulais pas votre cynisme, je voulais savoir si ah. vous top bon, bah, pensez que c'était la bonne taille. Est-ce que c'est la bonne taille pour une niche? Parce que je veux pas être coupable ah, tout seul si Anna revient et dit Mais non, une niche ça fait toujours. Petit. Moi, je fais, je fais mon seul. Oui. Tu fais tes préparations d'étanchéité. Oui. Si tu as ton carrelage, tu peux faire ta niche par rapport à ton carrelage. Oui. Pour les découpes de carrelage. Ah oui. Vincent came in and told me to stop. And he said to make the niche only when we have chosen the tiles, because then we can adapt the placing of the, of the niche according to the tiles. Which is clever and right, and it's almost annoying how right he is all the time. Anna, you just got the results. Yeah, I'm just going on online onto my account if I can remember my password. I hope so. <laughs> I'm terrible with passwords. Otherwise, I have to go back again to the doctor. No, that's not it. So I, apparently, I have 22.2 micrograms of lead in my blood per liter, and I should have had. Oh, I could have up to 60 micrograms per liter, or if I was a woman who was about to have a baby, I should only have up to 45. But I seem to be fine. Strangely enough, if so you you're- could even have a, You could even have a baby now. Yeah, but I think we're done there. And if I was a worker exposed regularly to lead, apparently I could have levels up to 300 microgram per liter. But it does say that if you have up to 100 or over 100, then you do need to have some treatment, some medical treatment. So, I think I'm okay. As long as I take precautions and I'm, you know, fully protected when I'm working in those rooms, then I think I'll be fine, which is very reassuring. Which also means that you can go upstairs again and continue. Mm-hmm, yeah. And I was thinking maybe you could come and help me. Fortunately, I called the doctor, I just called the doctor. He said, men are much more sensitive to lead. So the best thing for me to do is to stop working entirely and go sailing. Mm -hmm.